Hello SL, this is Tranquil Moon Dancer of TNC Designs in SL, and I'm going to go over the features of the new White Mesh Church, and this is brought to you by myself and by Iga Clawtooth. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so what I need you to do is to go into your inventory box. So open up your inventory and go into your TNC Designs Church folder and please set out your box. Make sure the arrow is facing the direction that you want it to res out at. So I'm going to face mine that way. And then go ahead and touch the box um, and go ahead and choose res. Please make sure you stand a little ways away from the box like I am. Okay. And then once that's fully rezzed, you can move the box. Just go ahead and choose edit and you can move it. You know, so you can fine tune it or you can rotate. So only stay on the Z axis and rotate it, but we're going to go this way, where is where we want it. Okay. And once we're all done, oh, look at we're over the edge. So we would want to move it in. And we're good. So we're going to go ahead and touch the box and we're going to choose finish. And that'll remove all the script from the uh, reser box. And now we can go ahead and delete that box. But please keep this normal box in your folder because this is your backup copy so always keep that you also have an extra pew in here that has all the uh, texture changers and everything it's an individual pew and that's in case for some reason you do want to unlink the pews but I do not recommend it However, just in case, it is in here for you. Okay, so go ahead and open up your church door instructions note card. And open up your chat window. And then go ahead and come up to the church doors. And open open the door and you have a list of commands here you can lock unlock add a person's name remove their name add a manager so again when the doors are closed we're gonna go ahead and open it and we're gonna type over in our box over here we'll say lock now it says door is locked We'll hit unlock as one of the other commands. Now our door is unlocked. Or we can add a person. Ica has been added. But please note that I capitalized the I and the C because that's the exact spelling of his avatar name. So please make sure you use the exact spelling with capitals of the avatar name not the display name but their actual avatar name then do the same on this door we're going to go ahead and hit unlock on there also and add Iga you can add any names you want I'm just doing this as an example of course okay once we're done with the doors we can go ahead and close that out we can shut the door so when you come into the church, you'll see the panel here on the right side by the door. Just touch this door and you'll see windows, floor, rug, pews, cross. 
we're going to set the access for each button. The text is the button. We're going to set the access for everything so that um, nobody but the owner or group can come and change your colors and wood textures and stuff. And you got to make sure you do on each item. So I'm going to show you each item and it's going to seem monotonous, but it'll just be that one setup and we'll be good. We'll be good. Okay. So we're going to go to the windows, main menu, access, owner, like it is. Then we're going to go floor, access, owner, rug, main menu, access, owner, pews, main menu, access, owner, cross, main menu, access, owner. Okay. You do have to touch on the lettering, just so you know. And then we're going to come into the church. We're going to come over to the podium. And first we're going to do the candles. So please choose access. Whoops. Access owner. Access owner. Now on the podium, the texture panel is on the dub. So main menu, access owner. And then this candle stand back here, access owner. And then we're going to go to the piano or the table. Actually, let's go to the table. Access owner. And then the piano stool main menu access owner. Then the piano main menu access owner. And then the piano book main menu. First, we got to select the album. Then we can get the main menu access. And it's set to owner now, so we're good. And if you want to turn that text off, just go to main menu, no text. Okay. Let's go back to the panel now that all of those are changed for us. And as you see under windows, we have text or color. We're not going to do texture, just color, glow, and transparency for the window. And you can see we have a pretty cream, a pretty coral going right now. And I'm going to go ahead and I can choose any color I want cream, dark green, burgundy. Um, but I'm going to go back to coral. And you can go back and you can set the glow. You can go low or really high, but 30% is really pretty. 20%. Um, we can go back. I'm going to go back to 30% because I think that's really pretty. And we can set the transparency. Now, the more you set the transparency, the more it enhances the glow. Um, I keep it at about 10%. Okay, once the window's done, let's zoom back in. We're going to go to the floor. In the floor, you also have your textures here. I have this little white petite stone, which I really like that one. You have in the stones, uh, the one I have on right now is the P main petite. I, I did P for petite. But you also have big white, if you want to go with big white stone. There's also a concrete, if you want to go with like a really dark, um, you know, dark woods or black and black windows or any other color combination you want to go. Um, but the concrete looks really nice. 
and um, you also have light woods so you can go to antique white and there's all different color woods and you also have dark woods okay so like a mahogany but we're going to go back and go back to the stones and go to the petite main and then we can go to the rug here so when you click on the rug um, what you're going to want to do is if you do not want to see the rug and you want it transparent please make sure the glow is to zero otherwise the glow will still reflect on the floor so go ahead and make sure the glow is to zero and go back and then you can set the transparency to a hundred percent if you want so we set it to a hundred percent but we'll put it back to zero so we get the rug back and we can go back and we can s select the color we're going to go back and go to um, the coral so if you go to coral and then when you hit glow and add a 5% and that puts a nice glow on it okay and now we're going to go to the cross or the pews I mean we'll go to the pews and we're gonna hit texture now we have 11 wood textures for the pews the podium the table the cross and the piano stool and piano okay so those have 11 wood textures and they have colors so you can mix and match so if we wanted to say have a light oak pew you can see the pretty light oak let me go this way for you now what's cool is you can pick a wood and then go back and even add a color and enhance the wood colors you can go back and get a whole variety of colors by mixing and matching the textures with the colors but I'm gonna go ahead and go back and put it back to white so I'm back to the original oak and then I'm gonna put the texture back to the antique white okay we'll close that and then we're gonna go to the cross and you can put the glow on there if you want I like to keep it mellow and you can put the color also you know or the texture whoops hit the back arrow to get to the white color or we can go to the texture and choose many different again many different uh, textures but I'm gonna put that back to antique white okay so that's the control panel those are the parts that are linked in the cross the rug the pews the in the windows and the floor okay so we're gonna come back to the panel here and we're gonna go ahead and close it so please do not unlink the pews or the cross or the windows um, or the rug and floor keep all those linked in because the menu depends on it as for the candles you can make other copies of the candles but if you're going to do that please open up your inventory take the candle set it back out and then set out more copies okay and do it that way please do not drag copy because that ruins the scripting so please just res it out from your inventory 
because I wanted to make sure I gave you as many options as I could with the texture changers, the flames, the candle colors, and I had to use very specific scripting for that. Okay, so on the candle stand, go ahead and click on the candle stand, and in the stand you'll see you have platinum, gold, black, or silver. Go back to the main menu and choose your candle, your color, and you can pick any colors you want. We'll put it back to coral. You can set the glow. Go really glowy if you want. I find that 10% is again really pretty. Just touch the candle if you want to turn the flames off. Touch it if you want to turn it back on. Again, on the podium, remember your texture changer and color changers on the front dove. You can also set a glow to that if you want. We'll go ahead and leave it white, though. And just right-click and choose Sit here for the minister's pose. And yes, it is animated, and you can adjust the height. And then go ahead and here's your other stand. Same thing, just touch it to change the stand colors and the candle colors. And touch the candle part if you want to turn it on and off. This part for the menu, the stand part for the menu, the candle to turn it on and off. Okay, and then the piano book, what we do is the go ahead and sit down and we have a shorter for shorter uh, avatars or medium I should say and then we have for taller avatars also um, on the songbook the hems I tried to match the hems up the best I could with the hem books in the pews so when you want the menu, just click on the left side here, and that'll give you the menu. Select your album. I'm going to choose the song I did uh, called Why, and then touch it again, and pick song, Why, and play. Okay, and then I'm going to click done for now. And then we're going to, oh, I meant stop. <laughs> Let's click stop. Okay, click stop and then hit, um, Here's your access again, your volume, and your play mode. See, it's set to repeat. I don't want it to repeat, so I'm going to put it to play once. Okay, and then, um, so that's how you work the song side. And then the right side is how you change the pages. Okay, so again, we'll stand up. We're going to go over to the pews. And the pews have four seats per pew. You can see one, two, three, and four. And they have female, male, female child, and male child. So we're going to go ahead and sit on the pew. So we have the female sits the female child, the male sits, and the male child. And we're going to go ahead and click on female. And we've got cross leg, fidgety, hem. Now again, the hem book has the, uh, I tried to match it up the best I could to the piano, uh, piano book hems. 
Then we have the New Testament. Of course, the Bibles, the Minister Bible and these Bibles are not full Bibles. Uh, that would have taken me forever to do. So instead, what I did was I took the first two pages of each of the books out of the Bible. And I put that in the Minister's Bible and then the Bibles in the pews. And the books, you know, I tried to match them to fit the hands the best that I could. And of course, there's mesh hands, non-mesh hands and everything. So um, I, you can't always get that perfect. But you can also adjust things the best that you can, too, with the adjust feature. So um, we have the, you know, partial New Testament with the couple pages from each of the books. The same with the old. And then we have the prayer sit. And then we have the prayer kneel. And the stool will come out for that. So we'll go back to cross leg. We're going to stand up. And I'm going to go over some information really quick on the pew. Please, again, I can't stress enough. Do not unlink the pews. They are connected to this panel box in the root prim. And if you do, it's going to ruin the menus, okay? So I can't stress that enough. If for any reason you really do feel you need to do it, though, then go to Edit Link Parts, click Edit, choose each of the seats there's four of them so you touch the item and hold the shift key while you touch and then you choose the shadow so you choose the pew the four seats in the shadow and then you would hit unlink okay then you can go to the next pew that you want to do that to once that's unlinked, then you can pick up that piece in each of the seats and delete them if you want and set out your individual pew that's in your box. But please know what you're doing or I recommend please don't doing it. Um, another thing is you can also add color to the wall if you really want to. You can, because it's modifiable, you can select face and go, do not do it when it's, don't select face and do all of this at once, you'll ruin the whole thing. Touch a wall, then touch another wall so that you have just the bullseyes on just the walls. See the bullseye? Do not select any of the lights or anything. Again, holding down the shift key, select another wall and select another wall and you can go to texture, go to the color and you can, you know, m minutely change the colors if you want for any reason. Okay. Um, I'm going to put that back to white. You can also do that with the moldings. You can select just the molding strips. There's two in the hallway here. One there. One there. And then there's these two. That one, I should say. And then the corner beam. And you can do the same thing there if you really want, okay? Um, again, though, please make sure you understand what you're doing before you mess with that. However, if you do mess up, and if you do mess up, uh, you do have a copyable church, so you can just res a new copy. Okay, and then that's it. We went over the access menu for all the items, the color menu. Again, there's 42 colors 
in the window glass, the pews, the candles, uh, the cross, the podium, the table, the piano, and the piano stool, and the rug. And then there's 11 wood textures with the pews, the cross, the podium, the table, the piano, and stool. And then there's a whole menu of floor textures. Um, you also can drop a texture on the floor if you want to. Uh, it's mapped pretty cleanly, and there is individual faces on the front of the step and the top of the step, so you can work with that if you want to. Um, again, I just ask that you know what you're doing if you're going to be editing that stuff, or again, if you do uh, take the you know, go for the gusto on it, uh, and you mess up. Again, it is copyable. I can't stress that enough. And, um, that's it. Okay. Well, you have a wonderful day, SL. And again, I'm Tranquil Moon Dancer of TNC Designs in SL. And Iga Clawtooth and I are usually available over in Region Devil Brook. So you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.